Uh, so I've never, I know, because I never got to share the story, the testimony about like how God has changed my life. Um, medyo mahaba, mahaba, mahaba ko ha. Yeah, medyo hinga mo na ako. Kinabahan po ako, oh my gosh. But uh, I stand here po to say that um, Christian is not a title or a status, but a lifestyle. And so I came to know Christ at the age of 14. And my Christian journey began, began when Ate Agape and Ate Camille decided to start a youth group called Alpha Blaze. And there was only four of us then. Alec, my sister, Jen, and me. So this was 10 years ago, May 2011. Every Saturday, 3.30 p.m. <laughs> so we would learn about uh, our Creator, His Son Jesus, and, and the work of the Holy Spirit. And every new fact that I learned, I would share it with my classmates and friends. And we would be so amazed about God and Jesus. But of course, I was a teenager that time, so I wasn't a goody two-shoes. I was a teenager. I always ranked bottom in class. Pasang awa lang. And I was rebellious, lapachera, and I was also prideful secretly. I took pride in what I am good at and also proudly say what I'm not good at. And every time my strengths, yung mga strengths ko po, would fail me, I would break down, and I would think, I will not, I, I will never be as good as those people. Bakit pa ako to try kung matidisappoint lang naman ako? So, pinanindigan ko yun. All throughout primary and high school, kung hindi ako last, second last. <laughs> In those times, po, when I was a teenager, I've also done things that I'm not proud of. Mind you, ah, I was already a Christian. I served in music ministry, I served in youth, but I lived a double life. I, put, uh, I would put on my Christian identity on weekends, and other days, I would do stuff that would hurt and disappoint my parents, or anyone would know Kung kung nalaman po nila yung life na tinatago ko, they would be disappointed and hurt. So in other words, I was a part-time Christian. So that went on for five years. Five years. And in 2016, my life changed. My music leader said, mag-start ka na mag-lead hand of worship. They don't know about the life that I was hiding. Sabi nila, mag-start ka na mag ng worship, ha? So I was like, huh? Ha? 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 Uh, so then, two times ako nag-lead, nag-co-lead. Two times ako nag-co-lead. And on my third time, I felt such a strong conviction about the life that I was living. The double life that I was living. So I decided to cut off everything that would hinder my walk with Christ. I broke off a relationship that became a stumbling block and anything that stopped me from serving God. It was a very scary decision because I wasn't the only one involved. So it was very, very scary for me. And giving up that life, you know, the life that you mo in enjoy mo. But God gave me the courage, so I trusted and I obeyed. And when I let go, God immediately worked. Amen. I started to have this desire to know Him deeper, and opportunities came to know Him personally and also through people. So in 2021, at uh, 2011, I joined youth. Five years later, 2016, I had an encounter with Christ, a personal encounter with God. And today, 2021, God never stopped chasing after me. Amen. He was there. He was with me. He used everything that I thought was lost or unworthy, hindi ka aya-aya, about me. He restored it. 
He renewed me. He set me free. And no seasons were wasted. And every single day after that, I make a conscious decision to choose Jesus, and I was never the same. And today, it's still my prayer to be more like Jesus, and I stand here before you to say that choosing Jesus was the best decision I ever, ever, and will ever have to make, making Jesus my number one. And now I'm thinking, bakit ngayon lang? <laughs> Why only now that I realized that Jesus is the best one for me? Why didn't I decide this earlier? Why didn't I meet him earlier? So that I have skipped all the hardships that I've experienced. Because this life is way better than any life that I will ever imagine. So I pray and pray that you also have a personal encounter with Christ because it will be the best thing that you will ever have in for your life. Amen. Um, so you mga details of my life, sige, uh, kwento ko na lang po next time. But that is the gist of how Jesus, I thought 2020, 2011, okay na, right? You know, I'm a Christian, ganyan. But... It wasn't until I had a personal encounter and making that decision that I want Christ that I was changed. So don't think po na, oh, a church man ako. Every Saturday, 3.30, that's a church ako. Pero wala po until I decided. So that's what I said. Christian is not a title or a status. It's a lifestyle. I pray you also have that. Yeah.